In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to wire these three-way switches to power this light up here beside me. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This one's all about building your own house and a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe, ring that bell so you get a notification every time I release a new video, and hammer that like button for me. That's all I ask in return for making this video. So I got a lot I wanna go over today, so let's get started. The most important part to doing electrical work is safety. So the first thing I do is identify the circuit I'm gonna be working on, come to the panel box, locate the breaker that powers that circuit, then click it off. And then after that, you're ready to go. And I'll always double check to make sure there's no power going to the switch box or outlet I'll be working on. And if you're not comfortable with electrical work, do not do your own electrical work. Be sure to hire a professional. All right, so let's go ahead and wire that three-way switch. Another important note to safety is try to wear safety glasses when you're doing your wiring. These wires are very sharp and they can easily poke you in the eye. All right, so what I did here is set up a rough demonstration on how to wire a three-way switch. Now I'm gonna show you the two most common ways that I've found to wire a three-way switch that's easy to understand. So there's several ways to do this, but again, I'm gonna show you the two most common and the ones I've done that's worked well for me. So what I got here is a 12-2 wire coming up and out of this box, and this is gonna act as the power to power this circuit. And then I leave about six inches out from the box and that way it gives me plenty to work with and when it comes to hooking up to the switch. And then I got a 12-3 wire running from switch box to switch box right here. And it's coming up exiting right here. And then it exits this switch box right here. And then I'm hooked to a 12-2 wire that's hooked to the light that's gonna be powered ultimately by this 12-2 wire. So it's gonna run in a circuit like this. And again, the 12-3 is gonna act as the travelers. So I'm gonna show you the details on how you hook your three-way switch up to these switch boxes. So as you noticed already, I'm sure, is each switch box has a 12-3 wire coming into it and a 12-2 wire coming into it. So they both are wired the same, even though this goes up to the light and this one is the power coming in. So if you take a look at the 12-3 wire, there's actually four wires total because it has a ground. So you got your white, you got your red, you got your black, and then you got your ground wire. So even though it's 12-3, just remember there is a ground attached and the same with the 12-2 wire. You got the white, the black, and then the ground and the white is your neutral, the black is your hot, and then the ground is your ground obviously. And then this red and black wire in the 12-3 acts as the traveler. So this red's a traveler, and then this black's a traveler, and then the same with over here. This red is the traveler, and then this black is the traveler. So just so you know how to identify the wires. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a pair of wire strippers and go ahead and strip each one of these. Always take about 5 eighths of an inch off from each wire. Now I'm going to use these copper crimp sleeves. As you can see, there are these little cylinders that look like that, and they're going to go over the grounds and crimp together. So I'll show you how to do that. All you got to do is separate your grounds here together, and then kind of put these wires to the side, and then just put them together with each other, and then slide the crimp sleeve over it. It's very straightforward. And then what you need to do is take a pair of wire cutters that have plier ends on them or just a regular pair of wire pliers and then squeeze it together really tight and then twist until the grounds are placed together in a nice twisted fashion there. And now what we need to do is clip the one wire back because we only need one of these ultimately and then we'll go ahead and bend that over and then crimp that piece down. So now our grounds are tied together here in this box, so we gotta do the same in this box. So we're gonna put these together, slide the crimp sleeve over it, and then always slide it back till it's just flush with the box roughly and then crimp it really tight just like we did the other one and twist it together. And then just clip one of these back and then fold it over and then squeeze it really tight again. All right, 
Now that we got our grounds addressed, it's time to address these white wires, which is our neutrals. So let's get those together. And now with these, all we got to do is take a pair of pliers and twist these together, similar to how we just did the grounds, except we're going to be putting a wire nut on this end. So now we just take a wire nut after we got our neutrals twisted together and then go ahead and tie those together with the wire nut to secure it ultimately. Then always give the actual wires a couple twists so they stay together really tight. And then I'm going to just fold those up nice and neat into the box. And that we are done with the white wires. And now we'll do the same on this other switch box. All right, so now we're gonna fold that into the box just like the other one and get that back out of the way. And then the next thing we need to do is put hooks on all of these wires. So the ground needs a hook to hook to the switches. The blacks need a hook to hook to the switches and then the reds. So in order to do the hooks, my personal preference is to use needle nose pliers. All you gotta do is grab the very end of the wire, squeeze it really tight, and just give it a nice sharp hook, right like that. Not very complicated, but that's what goes around the screws to the three-way switches. Now I just push the ground wire back into the box and leave a little bit sticking out here. So now I'm gonna take the camera up close to this particular switch box and just so you see in detail how to wire it. Before I secure the wires to this switch, I just wanna show you the parts to identify. So if you look at these two gold screws here at the bottom, those are for our travelers. So the 12-3 wire is going to hook to these terminals. So the red's gonna go here, black's gonna go here. And then this black screw up here is for our common wire, which is the black wire that's coming out of the 12-2 wire, and then this is for our bare copper, which is the ground wire, which is the ones that we twisted together with the crimp sleeve. So now that we identified the terminals on the switch, now we just need to make the actual connection. So this is off the 12-2 wire going up to the light, and then here is the common screw that it's gonna hook to. And then as you can see here, this turns clockwise to tighten. So we wanna make sure to bring our wire in from the top and loop around so when you tighten, it gets pulled towards the switch and not away. So which that's very important so you get a good connection. So we're gonna take our hook and hook it around in that fashion. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and tighten that down like so. And you just wanna snug these up really well and make them tight, but you don't wanna risk stripping out the actual screw. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on snug, and we're good. And it's very important to keep these snug. You don't want these loose because it can cause arcing. So it's very dangerous if you have arcing because that can cause a fire. So just so you know, make sure you tighten these screws down tight. So these are our traveler wires, and we're gonna hook these up to the bottom terminals. I like to just place the red wire here on the side that has the common. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that on that terminal. And now on this side is our other traveler location that we need to place it. So as you can see, it tightens that way. So we need to loop kind of down and around on this one. And then we need to place the ground on the ground terminal. I just wanted to show you a close up view of what it looks like inside the box. Up in here, we got the 12-2 coming out and then hooking to the common. And then our 12-3 is here. And there's the red going to this actual traveler terminal. And then this black's going to the other traveler terminal. So just so if you couldn't see while I was filming where what was going where, that's what it looks like. All right. And now that we are all connected to the switch, all we gotta do is fold those up into the box nice and neat. 
and just give it a nice fold down then up. So now that that's folded in there, all we gotta do is take a number two Phillips screwdriver and then tighten down the screws to secure the switch to the switch box. And you would really only secure this after the drywall's up, but this is for demonstration purposes. So I figured I'd go ahead and do this. And now that these are tightened up, just gotta do the same exact setup to this switch here. So in this other switch box, it wires almost exactly the same other than this is the 12-2 wire coming in, which is the power. And then this is the 12-3 coming in, which is gonna act as the travelers. But you still just hook this common wire up to this common screw. And then this bare copper wire is for the ground. And then these are the travelers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hook these up. So I just kicked the breaker on. Let's see if it works. Awesome, this switch is working. And this switch is working, very nice. So as you can see, works no problem. You can kick it off or on from either switch. And now I'm gonna show you the other way to wire a three-way switch. So this is the second way I like to wire a three-way switch. And again, this is just two of several ways you can wire a three-way switch. But with this example, I got a 12-2 coming up as the power source coming to this first switch box. And then it runs over to this second switch box using a 12-3 wire. In the last example, it was 12-2 coming from the switch box up to this light. But this time, we have the 12-2 coming from this switch box up to the light. So we got three wires in this switch box. So I had to upgrade the switch box to a 22.5. So that's a little bit bigger switch box so it can handle more wires. So that's something you wanna keep in mind too is your box fill. So if you wanna check out the card up here in the top right hand corner of the screen, that's how you calculate box fill. All right, so let's go ahead and get to wiring this switch. This is the 12-2 wire going up to the light. This is the 12-3 wire going over to the other switch box. And this is the 12-2 wire coming in as our power. So first thing I need to do is tie all my grounds together. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate all the wires away from each other. And I repurposed the last wires to do this demonstration. So that's why they're a little chewed up looking, so to speak. But anyhow, you'll still understand how I'm gonna do this. So first, put all my grounds together. And if you notice, this one's short because I had to cut it for the last demonstration. But anyhow, they tie together the same way as they did the first time. So I'm just gonna use a copper crimp sleeve, slide it over the grounds, and then get it over this last ground. And you can also use the green nut it has a hole in the middle of it, and what that's for is the same thing, tying the grounds together, except it has a hole in the middle of it that you can fish the uh, one wire through. So you can use those if you want, but these copper crimp sleeves are a little cheaper and work just as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these bent together. So again, just crimp it down really tight, then twist all the grounds together. Right, and then go ahead and bend back that short one. And then we'll cut one of these, it doesn't matter which one. And then just because we only need one wire coming out for the ground, we'll fold that back and fold that one back. All right, so that's all there is for the ground tying together. So now we got to tie these two white wires together. So we do not tie the white wire coming from the 12-3 wire in this case. This time it's just the power source and the light is gonna be tied together white wire wise anyways. So we're gonna tie these neutrals together. And we just take a wire nut just like we did in the first example, tie those together. And now give that a couple good twists. And now our neutrals are taken care of. Again, this is the light and the power source neutrals. So we're gonna go ahead and fold those back into the box, get those out of the way. And now what we need to do is take the 
black wire from the three wire that's going to the other switch and the black wire that is our power source. And now those need tied together. So we'll go ahead and twist those together. Now these two can be placed back into the box. So this is the black wire going up to the light. This is the red wire from the three wire. And then this white wire, we gotta do something a little special with it that's coming from the three wire. We gotta put black electrical tape around it because that labels it as a um, hot wire. And now with that white wire coming from the three wire, go ahead and put a nice little hook on that because that's gonna have to hook to our switch. So now we need to put a hook on our ground as well because that's also gonna hook to the switch. Now we gotta hook it to our three-way switch. So this is gonna hook in a little different looking fashion anyways than what the last one did. So we're gonna go ahead and hook our black wire that's coming from the light to the common terminal at the top of this three-way switch. So we'll go ahead and do that. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and just hook the ground up just to get it out of the way. And it goes onto the green screw like normal. And now the white wire that's labeled with the black electrical tape that's coming from that 12-3 wire that's going to the other switch, it hooks to this traveler terminal. And now the red wire coming from the three wires going to the other switch hooks onto the opposing traveler terminal. So it looks like that. And now we can go ahead and fold that up into the box. Then we'll address the other switch. So now I'm gonna hook these wires to the actual switch. So as you can see, we got a black, red, white, and a ground, and it's the end of the three wire. So I'm just gonna hook the black wire to this black common screw. So we'll go ahead and hook that on in a fashion to where it tightens down towards the switch instead of away. So we're going to loop around the top here. So we'll go ahead and get that hooked and then tighten that down. And now we just hook this red wire down below it to the traveler terminals. And then we need to go to the other side and we'll hook our ground to the green ground screw here. And then our white wire we are gonna hook it to this terminal, but we gotta label it with electrical tape first to identify it. And now we go ahead and hook that to the bottom traveler terminal here. So it should look something like this. We got our black going to the black terminal here, and then we got our red going to this traveler terminal. And then we got our white marked with the black tape going to this other traveler terminal. And then we got our bare copper going to the ground terminal. Now we just anchor that in the switch box just like we did before. All right, I just kicked the breaker back on. Let's test it out. First switch works well. Second switch works well and then it looks like we are good to go. So that is the second way I like to wire three-way switches. Be sure to check out my Amazon store. Some of the products I use while making this video can be found there. The link is in the description below. 
And if you do make a purchase, I get a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you and it helps support the channel. And I appreciate that. And this channel is all about building your own house. So when I say building your own house, I mean from the foundation up. You can find how-to videos on pretty much the whole process. And I'll be covering flooring and trim here in the near future. So be sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you get all the notification when I release the video. And I want to say thanks a lot for watching to all my faithful subscribers. You have built this channel to what it is today. And I want to say thank you for that. And I really do appreciate that. All right, guys, I got a lot of work I got to get done yet. So let me turn the lights off and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.